The neighborhood grocery store isn't the only place to get necessary home and food items. Restaurants have turned their dining rooms into pop-up grocery stores. Alicia Barrera shows us how this change is meeting the high demand during a pandemic. In 1941, a small cafe for farmers and workers at San Antonio's Mercado, or Market, was opened by the Cortez family. Almost 80 years later, they've opened their own Mercado pop-up shop to serve the families in quarantine. We were trying to think about all the things that we already had in inventory and things that we could put out on the shelves. Bread, dairy products, soups, household items, you name it, Mi Tierra has it in stock. But people also started asking for pre-cooked meats like carne guisada, fresh pan dulce or sweet bread, and even fresh tortillas. At the Mi Tierra Mercado pop-up shop, there's so many options, but once you start, you'll be greeted by a personal shopper like Martin, and he'll pick out the items for you. On my list, there's toilet paper, eggs, and paper towel rolls. A personal shopper, the online shop, and curbside pickup help eliminate contact with items. Schedule a pickup time at the curbside. We have over 700 employees, and so this has given us an opportunity to open up the opportunity for everybody to come back to work. Other restaurants like La Panaderia and La Gloria have taken to Instagram to promote their pop-up shops. Sangria on the Berg off of Fredericksburg has also pushed all chairs and tables aside to make room for their $25 three-day quarantine pack. These pop-up shops are trying to offer what's continually wiped off the shelves at neighborhood grocery stores. But our suppliers are running out as well and prices are going up. We've, we've, I've been hit this morning by three different uh, suppliers that all the prices of everything going up because they're running out simply. Something they promise not to run out of is hope. Hope that COVID-19 will soon come to an end. I'll bring them right out to you. Okay. Today is that Mi Tierra sort of like a candle that never goes out. Mi Tierra in a sense has been that candle and we don't want to see it uh, turned off and so we're just trying to do the best that we can. Alicia Barrera, KSAT 12 News.